Hey everybody, it's Gumpla Melly. Welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys have been doing fantastic. So today I have a pretty exciting review or not exciting depending on whether or not you like Digimon. I love Digimon as some of you guys may know. I'm a big Digimon fan. So today I'm going to be talking about this guy right here, the another Wargreymon. This is the second Wargreymon model kit I reviewed on my channel. And I actually am going to say off the bat, I really, really, really like this figure. There are some minor issues that I will get into and show in the review, but for the price point and the accessibility, I really like this kit. It's a big thumbs up for me. But before I quit blob, continue blobbing, let me show you guys the box art. Looking epic as ever. And here's some size. You guys can already see some of the poses that they have him in. The other side of the box, some more information and the other side. Now I will be comparing this one to the other one that I have reviewed, which is like the amplified version, which is like a super beefy, mean looking one. And this is more along the lines of being true to the anime, if not close to one to one or very close to the anime version, as you guys will see. So that is another reason why I prefer this kit, aside from the price point, is that this one looks more like the anime version that I prefer. So. I'm a little biased because I do prefer how it looks in the anime versus this mean looking Wargreymon version. So anyway, so some information, um, let's see here. So it says here, this Digimon was featured in the Digimon Adventure anime series. It is a mega Digimon that digivolved due to the courage of Taichi Yagami and his partner Agumon, who faced a powerful foe even in a desperate situation without giving up. It has a sophisticated humanoid form and its speed and powers have also been dramatically enhanced. It fought alongside Metal Garurumon, another mega evolution Digimon, to eliminate the darkness that invaded their world. So if you didn't know, now you know. All right, so let us get into today's review. All right, let's take a look at the manual. I love this art right here. Got some colored pages. And the rest back here, as you guys can see, pretty short manual, nice and straightforward build, like a smaller hybrid, I would like to say. And that is it. You also get one sticker sheet, as you guys saw. Um, saw. See, I didn't really use any except for the eyes right here because I am not a fan of these stickers. I think they make the kit look really cheap. All right, and here is the figure all snapped and put together. Nothing crazy additional I've done to him except, as you can see, here are the stickers that I placed on the head for the eyes because I cannot paint that small. And then, and you can see in here, all this has been panel lined in black. I think I don't have any in the back. And then here, this has all been panel lined. These are also supposed to be white, but I really did not like the sticker. So I do plan on painting this by hand with some like the finer brushes, but yeah, oh, whoops. Unfortunately, with the head, there really isn't a lot of articulation. He can go up about this high and down about this much, not that much. And in terms of side to side, as you can see, it's kind of obstructed by these, these shoulder armor right here, shoulder, shoulder slash chest armor. So side to side is not as much as I would like it to be. There's also really not even like a wiggle wiggle. It's just only up and down really. The horns, there's no articulation in the horns at all. The mouth doesn't open either, which is kind of a bit of a disappointment. No articulation in the hair as well. So it's just pretty much what you see is what you get. Now in terms of the shoulders, for these shoulders, I was pleasantly surprised. They do come forward, you know, a decent amount, as you can see here. Now, if you kind of push it too hard, you can already see right there, it will pop out. So you kind of, you know, are limited. Well, not limited, but you know, it, this is pretty much as far as it will go. If you do any more than this, it's probably gonna pop out. It has a little bit of articulation or movement backwards, as you can see here. This is on a ball joint. You can also go downwards a little bit. As you can see now, this might not look the best if you kind of push it to the limits, but it does have a little bit of movement. For the shoulder armor right here, unfortunately it's not on a ball joint, it's on a hinge. So it can really only go up and down. And that's pretty much it. 
Here for the upper shoulder, it is on a swivel, so you can swivel it all the way around, full 360. And then here at the arm or elbow, you got a little bit more than a 90 degree bend. So not the best, you can't like fully close the arm, like let's say to go up to here. So this is pretty much all the bend you're gonna get, which is kind of unfortunate. Here in the hand, that's pretty much it. That's all you're gonna get, little tiny nail right there. Kind of cute. Here, sadly, as you guys know, I love my good app crunch, but that is solid piece of plastic. No app crunch, can't do anything cool. That's just whatever, it is what it is. Here for his little skirtsies, as you can see, they are on a hinge, so they can go up and down. And for this one right here, it's got just a little bit of a wiggle. Here for his back shield, they are on a ball joint, as you can see right there. So they got, they're very well articulated. You can kind of put them in whatever direction. But again, if you kind of push it to the limits, it's gonna pop right off. But yeah, they can pretty much go in any position you want. Again, you just have to be kind of, you know, pay attention to what you're doing because they will collide up there. But you can close them. Open them, go up, down, you know, whatever you feel like doing, you can. He's got some thick thighs. So for the leg, he can kick out all the way like this. Good soccer kick. Oh, he came off. I'm finding that they pop off a lot. I don't know if that's just me. He can kick back really good because there's no back skirt armor obstructing that. So he can kick out pretty far. And then up here, it can swivel a full 360 all the way around. For the knee, a little bit more than a 90 degree bend. I think probably I'm gonna say more than the elbow actually. And that far forward. Then for the ankle, it's on a ball joint, so you can swivel it that far in, not much, cause it's gonna bang into this. That far at the out, uh, outer way, whatever you wanna call it. Down about that far and up about that far, not the best. Unfortunately, there's no or no joint here, so it's just a solid foot right there. Would have been nice, no articulation in the toes as well, which is kind of unfortunate, but yeah, I mean, all in all, the articulation is not bad for this guy. I mean, again, this is a cheaper model, so obviously it's not gonna have the best articulation, but I think for like the $20 something range, it's really not that bad at all. But again, I kind of would have wished it had, you know, I feel like they could have definitely engineered this to have, you know, some kind of a joint here in the middle that would have been nice. And, you know, maybe something here in the foot or the, you know, at least the toes being able to kind of swivel and same thing with the nails. I feel like they could have done that, but that's all right. There's just my minor nitpicks about the articulation of, the articulation of this guy. Okay, so now that that's done, let us take a peek at some comparisons. All right, here he is next to Real Grade Unicorn. And here he is next to Master Grade Turn A. So as you guys can see, he's a fairly decent size. He's not that small at all. So I kind of just want to do a quick comparison to my standard Gumpla kits. Now, fortunately, I have built another Digimon kit. So let me show you guys kind of a quick comparison between the two models just because I think it's quite interesting how different they look. Now that I have both of them together, I want to do a quick comparison between both of these models. They're both Wargreymon, both Digimon. However, they are different model kits as you guys can clearly see the difference between these two right here. As you guys have noticed, this horn broke off. Oh, because one pro that this guy is over this guy is, look at this. This guy is so freaking wobbly. He's constantly falling over on me and that's how that horn broke. I was building him, I had him on my um, desk and he fell right over onto the floor and then that snapped. So, you know, it happens, things happen. I just haven't glued it yet. But um, as you guys can see, this guy is much bigger than this guy. And one thing I do like over this kid is look how sturdy this guy is. This guy is freaking sturdy as hell compared to this guy right here. And 
Yes, this guy's much bigger, has way, wait, oh my God, way more surface detail. I mean, this guy's like a monster compared to this guy right here. This guy, he's your little kindergarten right here. And this is your high school student, you know, like this guy looks like he could freaking kick some major butt. Um, so yeah, he looks very scary and intense. In my opinion, I like this guy way more than this guy because yes, he's very cool, very unique design, but I prefer more of a design true to the anime. This is more true to the Digimon that I know that I watched growing up. So I honestly prefer this kid, even though yes, it doesn't have the, all the gimmicks and articulation that this guy has, but, and this guy's cheaper. So, you know, I'm frugal. So this guy can move on over. And I like this guy a lot more. I mean, just look at him, he's so cute. You know, let me know in the comments which one, do you, which one you guys would, oh my gosh, which one you guys like more? You like this one or do you like this one? Because I'm really curious to see if maybe it's just me and um, the majority like the amplified version. But yeah, I'm very curious to see what you guys say in the comments. Now there's one thing that I do wanna bring up before I forget, because I almost forgot, um, is that I really don't like how the arms, like I wanna say from the elbow down are articulated or lack of articulation. I, you see how it's kinda of like this? I don't know how to describe that shape, but that's how pretty much the arms are gonna stay up because they don't really, like there's no other way to kind of get it with the claws facing the side without this bend in the arms. I kinda of wish there was more choices to how I can, you know, cause it's like the, if you guys understand what I'm saying, I kind of don't know how to put it into words, but I just think like you can't really move this here. This part here isn't articulated. So you're not left with a lot of options in terms of poses because it's kind of weird how they designed this part right here. So that's pretty much my main issue with the articulation of this kit is how this is designed. I'm just not a fan. I think it really limits the poses that you could pull off with this guy. It's just kind of clunky looking. So yeah, I just wanted to make sure I put that in the video because I almost forgot. So in conclusion, should you get this kit? Yes, especially, especially if you are a Wargreymon fan. I think this kit is amazing, especially for the price point that this kit's at. I believe I got him for 20 or $25, give or take. So not a big investment compared to some of the other Digimon model kits because I believe I got the Amplified Wargreymon. I don't remember if it was 50 or $60. So a big jump in price. Obviously this kit is much smaller. It'll be faster to build. But like I mentioned earlier, I prefer the anime look versus the amplified look. So I'm still gonna pick this one hands down. And actually I kind of want one more to do a paint job on to have the black version. So I want both versions. So I might do that. Maybe I'll do a video on how I paint that. Hmm. Um, yeah, that'd be a good idea. I mean, there are some negatives about this kit. The fact that it doesn't have the best articulation as you guys saw, it's not the best, but again, it's only like a 20, $25 kit. So you can't expect, you know, the articulation of a master grade or a real grade on a very cheap kit. Although in defense of that, some of these newer high grades have absolutely amazing articulation. So I feel like this guy could have been designed a little bit better to at least have something in the waist to be able to crunch over more articulation in the head. So I don't know what happened there, why he's so stiff, but you know, it is what it is. So that is one of the negatives I would have to say is the articulation. Um, lack of surface detail, he does have some, but again, it's not gonna be a huge thing like the amplified version. I think they were trying to stay true to the anime, which is already somewhat of a basic look. He doesn't, you know, have tons of features and all this panel line done. He doesn't, but there's a little bit of panel lines you guys saw that I did. So also not a lot of color separation, but again, this kit isn't really going for that. If you want all that surface detail, and things like that, then I would recommend the amplified version as you guys saw in the video, much bigger, heftier, a lot more going on than this guy. And then the other negative I would have to say is the lack of accessories. You don't really get much, which is unfortunate. I would have at least like some flame effects or something like the amplified has. It comes with um, um, 
what's the word I'm looking for? I'm sorry, accessories. It comes with accessories, unlike this guy does. Effect parts. So that's another negative. But um, aside from that, I'm just kind of I'm kind of nitpicking here to say some negatives. So it just doesn't look like I'm you know 100% get this kit, love this kit. But like I said, there are some small small negatives I would like to say. But overall, I give this kit a solid eight out of ten. I love it clearly as you guys can see i really like this kit a lot and i hope that bandai releases more of these along this um cheaper bracket not to say that the amplified there are bad kits but i prefer these much more over the amplified so please bandai if you're listening which i know you're not but i'm gonna put my wishes out there please release more of these because i want to buy them and i will buy them so okay anyway before i continue my rambling I hope you guys enjoy the review and I will see you around for the next one. Adios. And as always, I want to give a big special thank you to all the people that support me over my Patreon and a special thank you to all my ultimate fans who are Allison Yancey, Chris Wright, David Sikora, Hassan Boss, Madi, Michael Lyons, Michael Lawrence, Oscar, and an extra special thank you to Jesus Ramirez. Thank you guys so much for all the support.